Let me tell you something about life as a sable German Shepherd. Everyone thinks it's all about looking majestic and saving the day, but honestly, it's a lot of babysitting? This morning was no different. I woke up early as far as a human is concerned but 5 a.m. is Shepherd standard time? Ready to take on the world, or at least you know, my yard also known as Shepherd controlled territory? I stretched out on the grass, warming up for my 257th perimeter check of the morning, and there it was, the unmistakable scent of impending chaos. I made my way to the southern perimeter, the trouble spot. The air was filled with the usual morning aromas, fresh grass, dew, and glue. Seriously? I peeked through the bushes and there they were, those tiny humans, the glue-eating heathens, back in full force? School had started again, and the area was infested with them? Great. Just great. My day was really looking up. Now, don't get me wrong, I take my job seriously. As the guardian of this household known as the home base of operations, it's my sworn duty to keep things in order, but when I see a swarm of kids who have clearly been guzzling glue and crayons all summer long like it's a gourmet snack, I know it's time to call in reinforcements, I can't be the only one dealing with this level of absurdity? I dashed over to the gate and popped it open, because apparently, I'm not just a German Shepherd, I'm also a locksmith? First out was Leo, my enormous, fluffy brother. He's a great Pyrenees, which means he's basically a walking cotton ball with legs. He's strong, sure, but let's be honest, his main skill is taking up space and looking adorable while doing so. Next out was Penny, my sister from another mister and the sweetest German Shepherd I've ever known. She's sharp, quick, and always ready to jump into action, when she's not napping, that is. All right team, I said. Trying to keep a straight face, we've got a situation. The glue-eating heathens are back. It's worse than I thought. We need to investigate? Leo gave me his usual confused look, wondering if he can eat glue. We moved in, quiet as shadows, at least. That was the plan, at least until Leo smelled food and completely aborted the motion and followed his nose right into enemy territory. It was at that point I realized my polar bear puppy would trade any one of us for a hot dog, lol. Obviously the kids spotted us and completely lost their ever-loving glue-eating heathen minds. All we heard was look it's the floofinators, Sadie, Leo, and Penny. So much for our secret mission, but honestly, who could resist the excitement? I mean, sure, I'm a professional, but a little playtime never hurt anyone, right? Within seconds, we were surrounded, the kids were petting us, hugging us, throwing balls, and, of course, trying to ride Leo like he was a horse. And Leo, the big doofus just lay down on the grass, letting them climb all over him like some kind of fluffy jungle gym. I swear, that dog will do anything for attention? Meanwhile, Penny and I ran circles around the kids, keeping them corralled like she, you know, just in case they decided to run off and start a glue-eating cult or something. Hours went by, yes, hours, before the kids finally started to tire out. I gave them a final, majestic bark as they headed back inside the school, probably to continue their bizarre culinary choices. Mission accomplished, I thought as we headed back to the yard. The perimeter was secure, the glue-eating heathens were exhausted, and Leo had a full belly of half-eaten stale peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. As I settled down for a well-deserved five shepherd second nap, I couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. Sure, being a guardian is hard work, but if it comes with free petting sessions and a good laugh, I'd say it's all worth it. After all, I'm Sadie, the sable German Shepherd, part-time babysitter, full-time hero. And when those glue-eating heathens come back tomorrow, well, let's just say the floofinators are ready for a good time. Sadie out.